Welcome back to the vlog, everybody. I'm Brad, I go by the Whalen, and this is my vlog on Truck Venture. I'm back in Oregon after my month off in China uh, with my wife and bonus son, Calvin. Uh, and coming back, I find myself at the Washington County Fairgrounds at an all Ford show uh, put on by the Mustang Wranglers Club. And I stumbled across this when I came back from China at an auto parts store, I found a flyer for this event, and I thought, I have two Fords, I can enter that. So I entered the truck in the truck category, naturally, and I put the Focus RS in the track car category. So they're both here, uh, and there's a bunch of other cars around as well. Heck of a lot of Mustangs, as well as some other classic Fords here. So it should be a cool event. I'm gonna go look around and check out some of those cars. Let's take a look at the Raptor. I cleaned it up a bit for this show, gave it a wash and a wax, did what I could to get the dirt out. I still find Baja dirt in this truck no matter what I do. But we're here for the show, so cleaned up the suspension a little bit. Listing all the special features, I ran out of space. Got the Rome cases up there, that's cool. This tent's pretty awesome, I'm digging it. It's not as big as the iCamper, uh, but it, it does the job. It's like a happy medium in terms of what my Chapui used to be size-wise and what the iCamper functionality is. So I, I'm, I'm digging it. And uh, this rack, this rack is just awesome. I can't get over how much I love this rack. And got the setup in the back here. Acquired a new Pelican for gear that's gonna go in the back as well, tools and whatnot. I even put a poster up here because, you know, car show. That was from St. Anthony Sand Dunes. It's a whole, almost a different truck. It's reshot the uh, fenders with liner because they were starting to peel a little bit after two years. So shout out to Nicholas for being able to do that and get me set up here including the interior or the inside of the fender as well. Getting it all dialed in, installing a new radar detector as well. Went with the R8 radar detector up there. Hardwired in. Again, shout out to Mr. Nick for doing that. And here we have the Ford Focus RS with a fresh wash and wax on it. I entered both the vehicles in this show and I'm glad I brought the RS because this is the only Ford Focus RS here at the show, which I was a little surprised by, but then I was reminded that this is a pretty rare uh, vehicle actually. They only made a few of the Ford Focus RSs over the course of I think three years from I believe 2015 through 2017. Uh, so it's garn garnered a bit of attention here today and that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, and I am super happy to be back to be able to drive these cars too after being in China for a month So part of this is just me being excited to come back to my vehicles and drive them We got a pretty sweet 65 Thunderbird here a very very bright red Super cool and a matching interior too. that interior is pretty sick What do we have here not your grandpa's Continental actually it might be well, it's not a car show without a Cobra. And here is a Cobra. It's looking pretty cool. Seventy-four Pantera here. That is pretty sweet. Very well kept too. Looking in inside. Oh, look at that interior. I have some really classics here. Going down here with a 1931 Model A panel delivery truck. 
79B apparently. 28 Ford Roadster. And of course, you're not going to have a Mustang Wrangler show without Mustangs, right? And here they are. Mustang Club, John Araldi. Lots of Mustangs on the fairgrounds today. Well, somebody showed up and told me to pop the hood. It was a pretty good suggestion. And look what the cat dragged in. Hi, Here's everybody. You're Nicholas. Yep, so I managed to make it here. We're out in this gorgeous Oregon weather, looking at cool cars. And there's some really interesting stuff here. Some really kind of unique birds you don't get to see a lot. Let's go talk about them. Mr. Nicholas. So, this is something I have read about. I have never had a chance to see one of these in person. This is a 2004 Mystic Chrome Shelby Mustang. They only made 500 of these. This paint is absolutely stunning. Every angle you look at it, it is completely different colors. They did another Mystic Chrome in 94, I believe, but it was a different color. It was a little more root beer. It didn't look as nice. So what's really cool about these is they're all Shelby. They're all hand built. The builders of the car signed the engine bay right there on top of the valve cover. And these are a 32 valve 4.6 with the supercharger. Another really cool fact is if you come around inside the car, they actually painted the leather. And yes, that is body paint with a flex agent, painted the leather to match the colors of the car. Now the owners have also done interior trim pieces, which just looks absolutely wild. And this is one of 500 ever made. I don't think they're ever gonna make this color again. In fact, I think they said they wouldn't. Um, but every angle you look at it, it's different. Insanely cool car. So we've got another really interesting, very rare car here. This is a 68 Mustang Coupe California Special. These were a one year only car and the California Special was famous for fiberglass vents, fiberglass ducktail, and rear quarters. Originally, they came with a 289. You just don't see these things. They're just, they're unobtainium. <laughs> now, this one's been bored over to a 350 now, but originally they came with the 289. But things like at the best vented and hoods and everything, Washington. all a very cool fiberglass package that was, again, a one-year only. Absolutely gorgeous. Neat stuff. So this one has a Ford, but it's a combination pizza and Taco Bell with a Lotus four-cylinder motor. This is a 1.6, is that correct? 1.6, no yep. lie. 1.6 twin cam. It's got twin Weber side draft carburetors, and these were a very spicy little track car back in the day. These were one of the fastest in the European, oh, what did they call it back then? European touring car. The touring car. Yeah, it was the actual still called the touring cars because they were lightweight, that motor, that motor rev to something absolutely outrageous for the time. Seven, 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 seven thousand RPM, which at the time was, that was as high as it went. And these were all power at the top end and a lot of fun because they weigh almost nothing. So if I remember correctly, and this gentleman might be able to correct me, Lotus also helped tune the suspension on these, is yes. that right? It's so yes, yeah. yeah, and so they went through, redid the suspension on them, put the Lotus high revving motor in these, and these were absolutely mm -hmm. dominant in the 60s in European touring car. Special guest appearance, Liam and Sadie at the car show. You guys like the car show? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so this is my first time entering a car show and I actually won an award. The Ford Focus RS took second place in its category, which was special purpose track car or track vehicle. And uh, yeah, I should probably start taking it to the track now. So that's a wake up call. But uh, I'm pretty happy to win an award on my first time around. And if you like this content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Hey Brad, so I noticed a fire engine here, but I think this is the first car show. It's a Mustang car show. 
and they were here just in case, but I don't see a single Mustang wrapped around a telephone pole. Do Yet. You? Yet. Yeah. And by the way, I am driving home in my award-winning Ford Focus RS right now. 